Thank you for tuning in to J.C. Matthews Ministries. We are committed to teaching the concepts, laws, and principles of God's kingdom, empowering you to discover your true identity and purpose in life. Grab your Bible and pad as you join the message. All right. Well, thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for joining us this, this morning. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and... Um, jump right into the lesson we are we are currently uh, speaking on the topic the man in the mirror and what I want to do is I want to give you uh, some scriptures um, so that you can have them referenced and uh, ready when we get to that place in the teaching uh, the first scripture that I want to give you is Genesis chapter 1 verse number 26 Genesis chapter 1 verse number 26 and then another scripture that I want to give you is Romans chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. Now we're going to cover, uh, in this teaching, we're going to cover uh, quite a few scriptures, but those are the initial ones that we want to address uh, right away. And so if you have uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse number 26, this is a very familiar scripture to those that have been part of the ministry or following the ministry or even kingdom teaching. If uh, you, you received any kingdom teaching, you probably have at some point had some lengthy uh, teaching or at least a referencing of Genesis chapter one, uh, in particular, verse number 26. So I'm going to read from the New King James version of the Bible, and it says this. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth. I want to emphasize something that he says right at the beginning of that verse. He says, let us make man in our image. In our image. I want to, I want to use this particular point to emphasize something that from a contextual standpoint, we can infer some things based on where this particular verse is found. Now think about this, out, out of all the places that, that God could have chose to reveal this, he does it at the very beginning of the book. As a matter of fact, the very first, first book of the Bible and the very first chapter of the Bible. So if the placement indicates its importance, then we have to come to a revelation that the very first revelation or come to the understanding that the very first revelation that God gave man was his identity. Not, not just any identity. He said, you are the image of something. Put it this way. He's the, you are the image of someone. We'll put it even more. Uh, succinctly you are the image of the one yes. that's the very first thing that 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 was that was stated concerning man out of all of creation was that he bears my image and if that if that's the case if God thought enough to put this in the very first book the very first chapter the very first revelation concerning man, he thought that it was that important to our ability to fulfill our purpose and realize purpose in life that we had to have a proper image of ourselves. Man couldn't get his image from anything else that he found in the earth. He couldn't find, th this is why this is so important. He couldn't got, what God was telling him, you can't find anything on earth All right. that reflects you. All right. You're going to have to look up yes. in order for you to have a proper perspective of who and what you are. Yes. So if it's that important, and this, and, this, and this is why it's so important today, to have a proper and true identity of oneself. It is the, nece the necessary revelation of life. You can't go any further All right. and truly succeed, have fulfillment in life, unless you have a proper perspective of yourself. 
I asked uh, I asked this question oftentimes, in particularly when I'm teaching about the image of God. Uh, when you look in the mirror, the tit the title of this particular teaching is "A Man in the Mirror." What do you see when you look in the mirror? Most people will see a black person, a white person, a man, a woman. You know, they may see what they do as an occupation, doctor, lawyer, manager, supervisor, laborer, garbage man. All, all of those things, those identifications shape your perspective and how you interact with the world and how the world perceives you. If, you know, people who, who seem to occupy positions in society or work in jobs that are high, called high profile, um, they seem to have a, a higher esteem of themselves than someone that might be a garbage man. They're, they're both occupations, but their occupations have, have um, what I would call pigeonholed them. In certain places in life, there's certain things that the garbage man will not will not attempt because his perception of himself is what I do excludes me from right. having or being certain things. And these are limitations. These are these you have to understand. These are these are carnal uh, constructs designed to cause you to never really pursue the image that yes. you're created after. Yes, yes, yes. If I'm a successful attorney, if that's the case, um, I will pursue my time, my energy, my days, my years, trying to become the best attorney. But there's a higher calling, calling a higher identity yes. that is the real uh, origin or essence of who and what you were created to be that transcends these confines or these titles yes. or these occupations or even our skin color yes, even yes, yes. even even your gender yes yes it does that have become limitations or 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 or, or defining characteristics of people even in the church mm -hmm. that's right this is why we we, we have to break free of we have to break free of these identifications that do not relate back to our true identity. Because until that happens, the church will not be able to function properly in the power, occupy the position that it's supposed to. It won't, it won't be able to. Matter of fact, some people that are in some positions that know better than know God, because of the confines in which they have uh, connected themselves to, the organizations that they have connected themselves to, they can't even tell the truth. Say that. Preach. Somebody who's in the medical or the psychiatric uh, realm, mm -hmm. somebody comes in, the Spirit of God tells you, this is demon oppression All or right. possession. Right. You can't diagnose that. You can't, right. you can't tell the person you got a demon. Indeed. You're going to subscribe them something to subdue the person. All right. The demon ain't affected by medication. All right. To put, to put the person to sleep, to make them drowsy, mm -hmm. to affect their faculties. Mm -hmm. And the demon ain't touched. Right. The problem is not touched. See, what I'm saying is, is that yes. these, these confines, these identities, the enemy has constructed to obstruct yes. our ability to see who and what we are. Yeah. A proper functioning would be because this is what this is what is necessary. Yes. But the system is run by the enemy. Yeah. That person should be if they're operating in their sonship. Yes. And there's no disconnect before uh, between Sunday and Monday. Yes. And you just a, a continuation and a flow, a, a, a flow, an outward expression of the growing and maturing Son of God. In what you do for the kingdom, yes, what happens to in, in, involve the world? Mm -hmm. uh, you would be able to cast that demon Say out. That. Say <laughs> that person wouldn't have to leave That's right. your your room with that appointment, mm -hmm. still bound. Yeah, but this is 
this is why I'm saying that we can't get our identities. No matter how uh, how affluent or how or how how apprised a particular occupation or level is, we can't be satisfied with that Say because that. that's too low in the kingdom. Yes. Say that. It's a limitation. Mm -hmm. It's something that can be defined and even de even uh, destroyed by the systems of yes. this world. Yes, yes. Somebody with a stroke of a pen can say, from this day forward, doctors cannot practice medicine. All right. And what, what, uh, what are you going to do? All right. You have to be cognizant of God. God has given us a position that is not subject to legislation. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's not subject to le uh, legislation. He points this out. I'm saying this. He points this out at the very beginning. Watch this. So even when we fall, even when we fail, even when we come to a place of despair, there is a reference point that we can be restored to by making a decision. Yes. I, I've given you this, this example before, the prodigal son. He was delivered from his poverty situation, not by getting another job, not by getting a loan, not by going further in debt, not by attaching himself to more people to try to help him. It was a independent decision of that that concerned his identity. Yes. Watch this. But he knew something. This is why this has to be taught. He knew something about his identity that he could reference. Yes. And this is why God gives us this at the very beginning. The way that restoration is going to take place after the fall God had to do what? Send, send himself in his image. Mm -hmm. He had to send the very image again. Yes. And then told people, I'm going to read it to you. Told people, look at him. Yes. <laughs> look in this mirror and you are transformed into Christ, the very image of God. He's trying to get you back to this place. Listen, I don't care when you come, when you come into the kingdom. That's why he says there's no, there's no Jew nor Gentile, male or uh, nor female, watch this, bond or free economic status. All right. That's right. All of that is a race because you are now being transformed into an image that transcends those yes. characteristics. Yes, yes. You are no longer, watch this, the language doesn't make sense unless it makes, unless it means this. All right. There is no longer the confines of you being a female. Yes. Mm. Say that. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Even if you are serving in somebody's house, there is no longer a distinction between you and the master and those that are bound. All right. Those things have been wiped away. In your natural condition, right. in this world system, it still may exist. Mm -hmm. But you, what Paul is saying is, you got to set your mind in such a place that you identify with the image that transcends all of that. Yes, yes. I'm trying to help somebody. Yes. That's right. Because you in a job or you in a place where you have decided or determined that your condition has determined your identity. Say that. Or your 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 infirmity, your infirmity has become your identity. All right. Your shortcoming, your past has become your identity. Those are ways for the world's system and those that are in it to define you. All right. Confine you. You have to be cognizant enough, like the like like the prodigal son. Say, wait, woman, I don't care what nobody says around here. I know what I look like. I'm in the same place you are. I smell just like a pig. You know, the clothes that are on my back, that's all I have. I know that's what y'all see and what y'all know. But I know something. Yes. Yes, yes. That I'm much more than this. Yeah. And it was the knowledge of that. This is what I'm saying. It was the knowledge of his true identity that was the basis of his deliverance. Yes. Yes. Knowledge yes. of identity. Yes. If he would have been a slave in his father's house or not in the father's his father's house, but in somebody else's house. Mm -hmm. Watch this. He would still be in that pig pen. That's right. Because he would his mind would tell him this is where you belong. That's mm -hmm. right. Say that. We've been people have been in a condition for so long. Mm -hmm. 
and they have had no image All right. that they can look at, that they've been taught to look at, that they have come to the conclusion that this is who and what I am. All right. This is the danger. I want to I want to share something with you. This is the danger where there is no image man defaults to his fallen imagination. All right. When you don't have a, a image that you can look at to aspire to, to conform yourself to, to be transformed into, you will focus on and become like what you listen to and see. Say that. Mm -hmm. Say that. That's so true. Woo. That is so true. Watch this. People's condition, people's condition, I can guarantee you this, reflects where they came from, Yes. What they've been seeing all their life or what they've been listening to. Yes. You are so right. I, <laughs> it's a correlation. It's a law. What you look at, you will become. Yes. What you look at, you will become like. What you listen to, you will become like. This is why there's such polarization in society. Say that. You can listen to a person talk and tell them, I can tell you listen to Fox or you listen to C, uh, CNN. Say I ain't that. even got to be in your house. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. The, what they're listening to is shaping their yes, identity. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is why there's such division yes. in the church because we have taken our focus off the one that we're supposed to be yes. imitating. Yes. And and this is this is a this is a, a principle that I want to give you. There's two ways. There's two ways to get your image. Remember, I said that your Im if it, where there's an absence of an image, man's fallen imagination will shape his identity. I'm going to say it again. When there's the absence of an image, man's fallen imagination will form his identity. This is why the Bible says the devil blinds those. Yes, he does. He, blind, he puts something over their eyes so they might not see, Scripture says, mm -hmm. what has been plainly presented. Because right. he knows if they see an image <laughs> that is a reflection of the true identity and they look at it long enough mm -hmm. It's going to it's going to initiate some transition, yes. some transformation, some yes. change in that person. That's so I can't even allow them to see it. Yeah, that's right. And, and and this is what the Bible talks about. Jesus, Jesus pulled the veil back. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit pulled the veil back so you could see that image again. Yes. And that this that that that's why it's so important. So the Im the absence of the image. This is why. I believe that the enemy has obscured the revelation of who Jesus is in the gospel yes. and mm -hmm. caused us to confine it to his death, burial, and resurrection. That's right. That's right. Things that we cannot do ourselves. Yeah. That those are ex that's exclusively Jesus territory. Yeah. He's the only one that was qualified. Yes. Yeah. To die without sin. Yes, that's right. Had the power to raise himself up. Yeah. And ascend into heaven to call himself God. Mm -hmm. He was the only one qualified to do that. Mm -hmm. So when we read the Gospels, and that's what we're pointed to, we think the Gospels is something that we are that we really can't participate in except right. something that we accept or receive by faith. Yeah, that's right. Yes, indeed. That's right. That, that literally its benefits are on the other side of this world. Mm -hmm. We got to die mm -hmm. to experience that. That's the way it's taught. Mm -hmm. All right. I believe that, that that's why the, the, um, the gospel mm -hmm. of Christ, not Christ's gospel, mm -hmm. Christ's gospel, Christ taught the kingdom. Yes. That's Christ's gospel. Yes. The gospel of Christ tells us about his life. Let's start chronologically. His, his life, his death, resurrection, and his soon coming. Yes. But the majority of the text of the four Gospels tell you about 
who he was, watch this, what he did, That's right. and how he taught his disciples to imitate him or to do the same. That's yes. right. That's right. He, 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 he was an image, a mirror that they were and we are supposed to yes. look at how he lived and see how we are to likewise live. Yes. But if you look at the church creeds, I've taught this up before. If you look at the church creeds, what you'll find out is it talks about his birth, death, resurrection, and soon coming. I've, I've, I've read the major creeds, Nicene Creed, the Apostolic Creed, the Constantinople Creed. All of those major ones have the same format. And my question is, what about his life? That's right. That's right. What he spent most of the time doing yes. and teaching. Yes. yes. Thank God he was born. Yes. We thank God for his death, burial, resurrection. Mm -hmm. But there's a provision yes. that 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 is not immaterial. Yeah. That's right. It is essential mm -hmm. for the proper operation and identification That's right. yes. of the church. Yes. This is why some aspects of church don't believe in miracle signs and wonders. All right. Don't believe in it. Because the image they have mm -hmm. is not one where that is done. When it was expected by the disciples. Yes, Jesus sent them out, told them, preach the kingdom, da, 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 heal the sick, cast out demons. Yes. How, how are you going to do that? That ain't natural. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was trying to get them comfortable with imitating him. Right. He did it first and said, now, since you saw me do it, and I've been teaching you about this kingdom, yes. you go ahead and do it. Yes. yes. So you can have a proper image of yourself. You're not natural, just natural human beings. Right. And this is something that, that has to be restored. I want to show you that this is the actual, uh, this is the actual objective of the enemy to, to conceal the gospel of Christ, the, 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 the life that he lived. Because if that image is restored, All right. he recognizes that he, he literally, uh, he, he tried to get rid of the one yes. very image. But like the Bible says, if he would have known what he was doing, he would not have done it. That's right. Because he literally put a seed in the ground and caused like kind yes. to reappear, multiply. Yes. That's right. <laughs> but the like kind did not see the original. Mm. It has the same substance, but it needs to know how to operate. Yes. So yes. the devil said, "Listen, I can't stop, or, or I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, destroy what they are. Mm -hmm. But if I can get them to think that they're not what they are, all right, that's right. And 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 them have no image to imitate. All right. They're going to fall to their fallen imagination. Yes. And then that will give them their identity. Yeah. Turn to Second uh, Corinthians chapter four, verse four. Watch this. The gospel is the 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 good news. That revelation of the very image of God being restored is what he's after. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse number four says in part, the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Watch this. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. What is that saying? The image of God that he doesn't want to shine on them is in the gospel of Christ. It's in the mess. It's in the story of, of, of Christ's life. That's right. This is why you have to be careful. Because... If, if 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 there is a void, if right. there is no if there is no image there, yeah. the the enemy will insert one there. That's right. That is so right. Watch this, <laughs> and that image will either be no greater than what you were when you came to Christ, mm -hmm. or it will be the very things that you came to Him for yes. that He will cause you to be identified by. Yes. Those yes. things that you've been forgiven of. Yes. You will start to think of yourself as, you know, nothing's changed around me. You know, all it seems like things are getting worse. Every time I try, things get worse. And he'll, he'll start to convince you. Yes. 
Yeah. That uh, nothing's changed. Mm -hmm. You are not an overcomer. You're not a more than conqueror. All right. He'll get you so preoccupied, watch this, looking down and around yeah. that the images that you see look nothing like the one that you're supposed to be focusing on. Right. You have to look up to see him. That's right. That's right. This is why. Let's let's read let's read the scripture that I gave you earlier, Romans chapter one, verses twenty two and twenty three. This is why you have to go to the gospels with a proper perspective so that you can see what's plainly there. There's an image in there, the very image of God, restored in the earth for our benefit. But we got to keep looking in that mirror. Yes. Right. Say yes, that. Indeed. Say that. You got to keep looking in the mirror. Yes. Yes, indeed. You have to, listen, you have to look in that mirror to the place where you become convinced. Yes. That, um, that, 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 that natural circumstances and situations are not determinative of outcomes. That's All right. right. That's Say right. that. They may come, but they're not the outcome. That's right. Because you, you have learned Jesus didn't put up with it. That's right. Lack. How did Jesus handle lack? He understood kingdom law yeah. principles. Yeah. He took the little bit that he had. Watch this. That was insufficient. Yes. Read the text. He looked up to God and yes. gave him thanks before he saw the manifestation. Yes. Then the manifestation came. Yeah. He recognized, listen, faith is not me seeing it first and then thanking God. Mm -hmm. Faith, the kingdom of God operates by faith. That's how he overcomes the world system uh, by faith. Yeah. John tells us that. This is the victory that overcomes this world, even our faith. Well, faith is not seen. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you see first and then you believe in it. You usually will hear it first mm -hmm. or know it first. Yeah. Act upon what you know in light of the facts and believe God to do what he said that he was going to do. Yes. And apparently Jesus knew, knew something that God would not allow mm -hmm. his word to return unto him void. He would not be indebted to anybody. For them following him out to hear the word. Yes. These people ain't going to go backwards by coming to hear the word. Mm -hmm. So the Bible tells us he he took the little lunch that they had for with thousands of people there, mm -hmm. looked up to heaven, gave thanks, then started to break the bread. That's how Jesus handled lack. Yes. He gave God thanks for the little bit he had. Yes. And trusted God to do what was necessary. Yes. With what he had. Mm -hmm. Even if it requires supernatural. See, this is why we're missing this. Yes. Because Jesus sometimes depended on natural things, mm -hmm. then other times Jesus will have to depend on the supernatural. Yes. Watch this. When Jesus wanted to uh minister to to uh to Peter or the people, if the if if what was natural was, was there, what was necessary there, he would use it. <coughs> when he needed a boat to get out into the water so the people didn't press upon him, mm -hmm. he asked to use somebody's boat that was there. He just didn't go, abracadabra boat. All right. Because I'm God. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, he said, what's around that I can use? Yeah. Oh, what I need and is sufficient already here. Yeah. Watch this. I got to follow the rules. That's right. Uh, and, 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 and naturally uh, it, use and engage what's here. Yes. If it's here. Yeah. So it, it was owned by somebody. He said, listen, let me use your boat. Mm -hmm. Gave him the boat. There's other times, like we see feeding of the fish, I mean, feeding the multitude of fish and loaves, it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. So he had to transition to operating in another level or, 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 or realm that's available. Yes. Yes, yes. I know it was available because in John, when the situation happened again, he turned the Bible says he told them to feed him 
And it said he, he did this to test them. For he knew what he was going to do. And I told you this before. You don't get a test unless you've been taught already. They've been taught that. This is why this mirror, the image has been missing because we haven't been looking in the mirror to see the image. We, we haven't been looking. We, we've been looking at it for salvation, which is something you can't see. No, the mirror gives us the life and the 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 the, the um, operation mode of operation of an actual human being. Yes, yes, yes. Who is also the Son of God? Yes. Who, when you were born again, what are you? You're a human being who's also a Son of God. That's right. That's why he could say, "Imitate me." Paul yes. Paul could point to the churches and imitate them. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's outside. This is your image. Yes. yes. This is what you're supposed to look like. Yes. That's right. That's right. But most people, church people get so deep. It's so spiritual. <laughs> oh, it, it, what we're supposed to imitate is the love of God towards other people. Be nice and be <laughs> docile. And, and, and no, mm. that, 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 that might be a component of what's necessary, mm -mm. but imitate his life. Yes. Mm -hmm. When he came across some show enough wickedness, he dealt with those wicked yes, people. He yes, he did. People in sin, he dealt with yes. people in sin. Yes. In different ways, depending yes. on what the, the Pharisee, he was much, much harsher on the Pharisees than he was the woman caught in the act of adultery. Yes. But he dealt with both of them. Yes, he did. He just didn't go, I love you so much. I'm going to just <laughs> allow, allow y'all to go and, and, and do as you believe because <laughs> God is love. And I don't want to offend you or cause you Woo! any discomfort. Jesus. No, he said, I love you enough to tell you yes, what you did deserved death and, and, and stoning. Yes, <laughs> but you just fortunate enough, everybody else around here deserved death. Mm -hmm. All right. And I made and I pointed that out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to forgive you. Watch this, but don't do it again. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. He didn't say, I forgive you and just walk away. Mm -hmm. He said, no, nah, what you do, if you do that again, that, that deserves death. Mm -hmm. So we have to, we have to see this is why the gospel, that, that mirror, you, you can see the fullness of humanity yes. as it's supposed to be in the person of Jesus Christ. Now, what did I say? I said, um, go to Romans chapter one, verse 22 through, through 23. And this this what happens when there's no image. Yes. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory. Now I want to I want I want to express something to you. Oftentimes in Paul's writings, he 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 will use almost synonymously glory for image. Because there is a restoration of a glory that was lost. Remember Psalms chapter 8 where he says he crowned the man with glory. He was talking, referencing Genesis chapter one. What is man uh, that you uh, that you visit him? The son of man that you care for him? Have you you've given him dominion over all of the works of your hands? You have crowned him with glory. You gave him. You, listen, you gave him your very image. That that's what Paul is referring to. When we read in many of his writings, the image and glory will be synonymous or, or mentioned right after one another. Because he's trying to say, he's trying to communicate to you, listen, it's not necessarily that you look like God. Because you God's a spirit. Mm -hmm. But you have something that represents him. Yes. That when nature or whatever encounters it, it invokes his presence. Yes. See, this is why you've got to understand image. There, there is something about the way God has constructed his image in man mm -hmm. that when we come in contact with creatures, mm -hmm. other creation, even spiritual beings, yes. they recognize yes. the presence of God. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. There's something different about this one. That's right. Gorillas, chimpanzees, the 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 uh, monkeys and those sorts of things they say they are most like man 
but they're not like him. That's right. Say that. Because they weren't created in God's image. That's right. Angels weren't even created in the image of God. Listen, scripture has not revealed that to us. I got to go with what the book plainly says. Right. That we were created yeah. in the very image of God. Yes. But watch this. Romans chapter 8 verses 1, uh, uh, chapter 1 verses 22, 22 to through 23. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory or the image of the immortal God for the images made to look like mortal human beings, birds, animals, and reptiles. What is this telling us? When, when, when you lose the image of God, you begin to devolve. Say that. Mm -hmm. Say that. This is why we have a problem today with image. All right. Identity. I, identity today is a big thing. It's more uh, identity is, is a bigger issue now than it's ever been before That's right. in world history. Why? Because we have started to deny the very image of God. Yes, indeed. We have removed God from the conversation. Yes. Watch this. Now we got people identifying as creatures. Yes. Say that. Mm -mm -mm. Dogs and Speak birds. Yeah. I heard I heard this just yesterday. There's a high school uh, in, in, in the city just north of us. They had to put in the high school, listen to me, I'm not making this up, a litter box because one of the students identifies as a cat. Mm. That's what delicious. in the oh. world? Mm -hmm. They had to accommodate mm -hmm. this identity. All right. See? Paul says it right here. Yes. He says uh, they became fools and exchanged the image, the glory, the image of the immortal God for images made like a mortal human being, hmm. birds and animals hmm. and reptiles. We got people, listen to me, we got people that identify as they. Right. Individuals. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I'm just talking about identity. Identity, listen, because the image of God has been set aside, yes. the fallen imagination, remember when I said yes. when there's no image, yes. man yes. defaults yes. to his fallen imagination? Yes. That's where we're at right now. Yes. You ain't seen mm. yes. the back of this pit. Yeah. Or this hole. Yes. The end of it. Woo. There's more coming. Yes. Right. Because it's not being is it's not being restrained, it's being celebrated. Indeed. Yeah. And oh legitimized. Yes. To the place where we're having to close our eyes mm -mm -mm. and ignore objective yes. reality to embrace and legitimize somebody's subjective mm -hmm. perspective. Sad but true. And require the world, the order, the the objective world order to be altered mm -hmm. All right. to accommodate mm -hmm. this subjective fiction. Yes. Because it can't be proven. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Preach. Ooh. This is why we gotta see the man in the mirror. We're gonna have to get back to the mirror. Yes. Because 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 there's nothing to constrain it or to confront it. But the truth of the man that's indeed, in the mirror. Yes, indeed. The reason why the church is not equipped is because we have been looking in the mirror at the man. This this is not a surprise. That's right. That's right. Paul's telling us right here. He said, "Listen." He says, "Men have conformed or devolved into worshiping." images and stuff of things that, that the original man was given dominion over. Yes. All right. Say that. Bible. Mm. This is the danger with it. Images, if they're unconfronted, mm -hmm. causes people to submit to them. All right. To serve them. All right. 
if they're not exposed for what they are, this is why in the Old Testament the, the prophets would go into these these places where the images and destroy them. Yes. To prove these ain't gods. Mm -hmm. This is wood, stone, gold, whatever it is, but but it ain't a god. That's right. He said, "Listen. In, in, in order for in order for there to be deliverance, in order for there to be order to be restored, you got to deal with the images. Yes, sir. Yes, you do. You got to deal with the images. Mm -hmm. But watch this. God gave a prohibition. Mm -hmm. One of the first commandments: You shall not make an idol of me, or try to try to create a, a image of me. Mm -hmm. But man was created to be the image of God. Yes." What is, what is God saying? God is saying, listen, it's, it's, it's like somebody, I, I heard a, um, I heard a uh, story, and this was, a, this was an example, an illustration. The, the, the assignment given to the kids was to draw a picture of God. This was the assignment given to the kids. The kids came back, there were 10 kids in the class, and they all had different pictures. And some of them were indistinguishable. Some of them looked like a, a gray-haired old man. Some of them had different features. And the teacher said, this is what I was trying to prove. Nobody knows what God looks like. So th this, this is why God was saying to, to fallen men at the time, he said, listen, you don't know what I look like, so you're going to come up with stuff that ain't God. Mm -hmm. Say that. You're going to draw pictures of me that don't even, don't, don't even, uh, don't even uh, resemble me. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't do it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the, the pagans do that, and those idols have become means or conduits for demon worship, mm -hmm. and people fall in the side. He said, but in Genesis chapter 1, I, I tried to reconcile that. God, you created an image. Mm -hmm. It's a physical image. So why are, why are you telling us not to? He said, because you are supposed to be being conformed to my image. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, we can't see you. Mm -hmm. God says, the way that an image is formed, watch this, it's a principle that we follow today, is through what you see, but primarily what you hear. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Man was to progressively mature in the image of God by listening to him. Yes, yes. This is why it was a sin for him to touch the tree of the knowledge and good and evil because he was supposed to learn that from listening to God. Right. The devil pointed it out. He says, if you take that, you'll be like God. Watch this. What was he, what was he saying? The, he knew that they were already created image and likeness of God. But he insinuated God's keeping some things from you. So take it for yourself. God knew that whatever revelation that they needed to know would be provided for them and as it was provided for them they will grow in greater knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. So there's no need for them to experientially grab a hold of something they can't even understand. All right. Separated from God. So the image of God is primarily primarily formed by what you see you focus on or what you listen to yes this is why jesus is called the word that's something you hear may flesh what you see that's why he's the perfect in the very image yes. if you look at him you start to become transformed yes when you listen to him, you be you begin to become transformed. This is why, as I read in the scripture, Satan don't want you to see that gospel indeed. of Christ. Yes, indeed. Because you start to see some things that start to remind you of who you're supposed to be. Yes, this this is why this is so important. I want to give those who are listening. Um, some insight, some action steps that would start the process of changing your situation to you, to you becoming what's necessary. Yes. 
to realize purpose and fulfillment in life. Because it can't be found outside the image. That's right. That's right. You have to have a proper identification of yourself. Yes. A proper identity of yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to cut off all television. All right. Unless it's teaching kingdom. Mm. Listen to what I said. I said, unless it's teaching kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because you can watch some Christian stations. Oh, some Christian ministers. And you will get a deformed image. Yes. Because they will present you with simply a suffering servant. Mm -hmm. All right. A slave. A footstool for the world. Some people teach this. Yes, yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, they do. That it's that it's your job just to take punishment, mm -hmm. and and then to love those people that are punishing you. When we've been given the responsibility of transforming those people, yes. we've been given the responsibility of engaging them. Yes. Not lying down for them. Yes. Telling them the truth yes. and engaging them with this wisdom and the spirit of God yes. and the words of Christ. Yes. You have to you you have to see you have to you have to re you have to recognize if if what you're listening to is not empowering you yes. to overcome what you're dealing with that which is oppressing you it's not the gospel that's right if it is getting you comfortable mm. with being the tail and not the head All right. last and not first beneath and not above that's not the gospel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the the the, 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 the kingdom message yes. provides you an image of a king. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he came and died. Mm -hmm. Not because he, he was weak. That's right. That's right. He submitted himself to it. Told the king, if I didn't allow this, if it wasn't in the father's will, mm -hmm. told the king, you couldn't take my life if you wanted to. Yeah, that's right. That don't sound like no slave. That's right. That don't sound like no footstool. Yeah. He's right. he's really just telling, listen, just do your job because you're part of the plan. Indeed. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I came for this to bring I came to be a seed. Mm -hmm. I realize that when I go on the ground, you think you destroying one. Mm -hmm. You're about to produce millions more. Yes, yes, Why well, yes. I, I, I says, Christian, ones who are like me. Yes. Yes, yes. But religion has cultivated that down and we ain't even like him anymore. No. The mirror that we looking in is like one of those circus mirrors. Yes. You look in and you are twisted and yes. are deformed. You can't even tell. Mm -hmm. It's giving you an image that, that is literally uh, repugnant. Yes. Say that. One of those circus mirrors is what the church is putting up yes. in many cases. Yes. No, he says, no, the, 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 the mirror that you're supposed to be looking in is found in here. Yes, that's right. And you're going to see clearly yes. how he lived, how he talked, how he walked, how he dealt with opposition, how he overcame it. Yes. This is, this is, this is why an image is so important. So the first thing, the first assignment that I gave you was to cut off. All mediums yes. that does not present you with an image of Christ that you can imitate in overcoming a situation. Yes. Cut it off. You can't listen to it. Say that. Stuff that ain't conforming to that image. You got CDs, you got... Uh, your, your car channel pre-programmed or something that ain't that ain't creating in you a greater than uh, a, a, a greater than mindset a more than conqueror mindset that looks like Jesus cut it off Say that. reading books and stuff that, that's creating images in your mind that ain't godly that, that it's not creating a, a picture of you that you want to manifest in your life, close the book. Mm -hmm. Some of them you need to throw away. Mm -hmm. Some CDs you need to throw away. 
of your favorite preachers hmm. who ain't teaching kingdom. All yes, right. indeed. All right. Or are you going to create an image that, that that's in that's incorrect? Mm -hmm. That's not one that can be um, uh, sustained by looking in the four gospels. Yes. What I see. I want to give you this before um, before I close. So I get I gave you the assignment. Watch what you're looking at. What watch what you're listening to. If it don't, if it doesn't line up, because that's how your image is going to be shaped. Originally, remember what I said uh, when God gave man uh, his, his image and expected him to grow in that image. The original means by which that image would be matured and further developed was what by listening. Listening to what he says. I know this is true. Watch this. I'm going to give you this to think about. Ephesians chapter, uh, no, let, let, let me read two scriptures to you. Colossians chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 20 through 24. This has to be taught to you, pointed out to you. You have to have knowledge of this for you to, con for you to conform to the image. For, for what you're looking at to be... Um, what you're looking at to have the purpose of transforming you. The scripture is going to tell you by you looking at what has been written and at that point what has been said about him, you're actually being taught by Christ himself. All right. Just like you were one of his disciples. All right. Disciples, the scripture says, are like their master when they are perfectly trained. Yes. Scripture tells us that. The purpose of a disciple is to become like the master, to imitate him. Watch, what, watch this, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 9 through 10. Lie not to one another, seeing that ye have put off the old man and his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, watch this, after the image of him that created him. So you are renewed by having knowledge of. That's why the absence of the image mm -hmm. creates a deformed identity. Yes. Because you got to have accurate knowledge of what it is that you're being transformed into. He says, listen, he says, you renew this new man that you're putting on is renewed as you learn more about him. Knowledge. And that knowledge should point you back to the image yes. of God. Well, where will I find this? Well, uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 20 24 watch how Paul talks to these people at Ephesus like they themselves are sitting at Jesus' feet because by hearing what he did and reading what he did although they never physically saw him they're able to see him that's right Ephesians chapter 4 starting at verse number 20 but you have not so learned Christ so again we have to learn him. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let me put it this way. You got to look at him. Yes. 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 In this, in, in the gospels, you got to look at him. Not only look at him, but listen to him. Yes. He said, okay, you have not so learned him. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him. How are they being taught by him? Somebody is going back and reminding them or telling them of what he did. Yes. And by them telling them what Jesus did, they're being taught by Jesus. Yes. Listen to what I'm saying. This is why the scripture, when we look at scripture, we have to look at it like when we're looking at the gospels, when Jesus multiplied fish and loaves, Jesus healed the sick, Jesus um, uh, exercised authority over creation, Jesus did these things. He's teaching you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not just the disciples. We're disciples too. Yes. He's teaching you how to do what he did. Because he ain't going to be here in the body anymore to do it in the earth. All right. But his body's still here. The body of Christ. Yes. That's why we call it the body of Christ. Yes. We are to do what he would do if he was here have to do it himself. Yes. He said, I ain't got to be here, come down from the sky to do it myself anymore. Because you're here. Because you're supposed to do it just like I did it. Yes. And there's no excuse. For you not to know how to do it because I got a record 
of me doing it. Yes, that's right. And the preachers, the apostles, the pastors, the teachers, the prophets, the evangelists, you're supposed to teach the people to do the work of God. Yes, that's right. You're supposed to teach them how to do this. Mm -hmm. Teach them what, what, where that mirror is at that they're supposed to be looking in. So he goes and he says, if you've been taught by him, watch this, as the truth is in Jesus that you put off concerning the form of conduct. This is in reference to what you're talking about in Colossians. The old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind that you put on the new man, which was created according to, you could put in there, the image and likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So this is why when we're talking about the image of God, I'm going to talk about next week, the process, what, what happened when, when man fell, he can no longer see the image. Spiritually disconnected. And all of a sudden now, since there's an absence of an image, he starts to fall back to his imagination. And that's why Paul says, now you're forming yourself after other human beings, other creatures. Yes. Jesus came back to restore the image. But we got to recognize where that mirror is we need to look in order for us to be transformed, as scripture tells us, to the very same image That's right. by looking into the mirror. So I'm going to stop right there. And I pray that what's been said has been a blessing to you. I pray that something has been said that you can employ right now. And I believe there has been. There's some things you can do right now. Control your eye gates and your ear gates, especially what comes out of your mouth. So that it conforms to what it is that we see in scripture. I'm going to say this, that your deliverance is in your identity. How you perceive yourself. Some of us need a makeover. We need to, we need to set aside that old man, that old image. And embrace the new man, which is created in the image of God. When you do that, you separate yourself and you relinquish yourself from all of your past. You become whatever that image can create in you. You're a new creation. Paul says, old things have passed away. All things have become new because you've been restored to that image. This is why it's so important. I believe that when people um, come into the church, born again, one of the teachings that need to take place is all those things, limitations, things that you got in the past, they are facts, but they're no longer true for you. Indeed. What's true now is what God is calling you to do. You 60 years old, oh, you wanted to go to law school? Sign up tomorrow. Put in the application to take the LSAT. Do it. That's, your, that's how your mind has to be transformed for us to move move into the world and do what is required in this season. Yes. We can't see ourselves as natural human beings. We're the image of God. I operate like the image did. And that's our example. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you have been edified and encouraged in your pursuit of God's kingdom. You can find out more about J.C. Matthews Ministries by visiting us at jcmatthews.org. If you've been blessed by the message, prayerfully consider partnering with us as we take the gospel of the kingdom to all the world.